The Pharaoh has officially returned in update 2.1. We are back on the beta and this just dropped. Wait until you guys, wait until you guys, like what more can you say? For the first time ever, there's an actual like real boss fight in the game. Wait till you guys see the mechanics, how to beat it and what you get once you take the Pharaoh down. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything. Uh, let me go ahead and hit play. My first impressions when I first saw this, my first impressions when I first saw this, this doesn't make sense. My first impressions when I saw this was, holy crap, this is freaking badass. Like, look at this. And keep in mind, guys, the way anything, any, the way anything looks in the beta is gonna look 10 times better in global. Okay, as far as aesthetics, you know, the visual effects and all that. So the, the way they captured this was perfect. The sound effects, I mean, everything. And wait until you guys, this was the coolest part. Um, so yeah, so it kind of sounds like, kind of sounds like, look at the hand. I don't know if you guys could hear that. I don't even know how loud it is. But the way the plane sounds, it sounds like, I don't know, like World War II, like old fighter jet type. I don't know, just the way, the way they captured those sound effects um, sounded really, really cool. Really enjoyed that. Uh, but you're going to see the Pharaoh try to grab the plane. And this part, I think this might be my thumbnail. Like right there, that might be my thumbnail. You'll know uh, if you click on it, right? You'll you'll know if that was my thumbnail or not. Tries to get the plane. I thought they captured this perfectly. What this really brought back though, that I, I haven't heard anything. They haven't, every once in a while, PUBG will drop on like their official channels. They'll drop, um, you know, like little Easter eggs, things that possibly might be coming. Who remembers Sandstorm mode on Miramar? Does this not give you the Sandstorm um, vibes that 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 Miramar? I think it was only in the game for like a a week, maybe two weeks at the most. Uh, but really got vibes from that. It looked really really cool. Those that uh, that Sandstorm like effect that they had right there. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get on to the platform itself. All right, and real quick before I show you guys how to get onto the platform, you might want to know where to find them. So there's two locations where they're going to appear on the map. I've played, I think, five, maybe six games so far in beta in this new game mode. So the first one is down by Quarry, pretty much, you know, within within the area. And then the other one is up by Stalber. So depending on the flight path and all that, uh, you'll know which one you should go to. The other thing is make sure that your vehicle's not parked on the platform or you won't get this animation. So if you try to full send a car, you have to actually back it off of the platform or you won't even be able to get up. So here we go, because it's not just as simple as, you know, walking in to the fair. Oh, let me go ahead and rewind that real quick because this is, this is important right here. Okay, just to make it real, real simple for you guys. Uh, I had to do this a few times before I, before I actually figured it out. So where you want to, this is where the fight is gonna go down between all the different teams because you have to go to the sanctuary front in order to open up the ginormous bulkhead door blocking the sanctuary. This is where the Pharaoh fight goes down. Basically, last one to survive or last team to survive will be able to activate all these platforms and then have the fight with the Pharaoh himself. So I'll show you guys through that. But yeah, sanctuary front is where you're gonna want to land. You're going to want to loot up. While you're doing this, you want to have a ton of ammo. You want ammo. Um, you need consumables, you need first aids, you need it all, because the fight is pretty crazy, actually. So, there, again, there's four platforms. Okay, here's the second platform. Just stand on a few uh, for a few seconds. Uh, you'll see it go ahead and light up. So once we knock out those two, we can knock out the other two. It's very, very simple to find these. It's just, once you do it once, like, you'll, you'll be good to go. And then once you get the, once the fourth and final one is done, everything's all lit up, this will light up and this will ascend you up to the second floor. I can only imagine, again, this is beta, so it's nothing, you know, it's nothing but AI, but I will tell you, I can only imagine once there's real players fighting on this platform, it's, go, it's gonna get crazy, it's gonna get crazy. All right, and so you can see the, the big bulkhead door opened up. We're gonna send one more time, basically to the third floor of the platform, and this, is where you want to get ready. By the way, I would not recommend having an M249. It takes way too long. I thought this might be good for this fight because of how much ammo you have. It's not because it takes a year and a half to reload the M249. 
Once you're ready to fight, you go ahead and stand on the platform right in the middle and you'll see the Pharaoh uh, arise from the tomb or the, the coffin, right? Tomb? Yes, coffin. So here we go. So here is the fight, dude. It looks, it is, it's identical to the exit, to the first and most favorite exit of pretty much everybody. Um, so, okay, let's get back to the boss fight. Um, he, he, will, he actually slaps. The dude actually slaps in a squad. I don't know if it's going to be more HP when you're in a squad versus if you're, this is a solo match, if he has less HP. But I'm going to tell you, he absolutely slaps. He has four, I think, or maybe five different mechanics that you have to dodge. And you can constantly do damage to him if you shoot anywhere, but you'll get white hit markers. It eats up a lot of ammo and you don't do as much damage. What you're, what you're going for is, okay, let me go ahead. I'll, I'll pause it at the right moment. What you're going for is this part of the body right here. These, this, this little glowing part. Consider this headshots. It actually makes the headshot sound and everything. Uh, but this is where you're going to get the most bang for your buck as far as damage. He may, and he also has three health bars. So you'll see right here. Oh, this is where we light him up right here. So again, you're going to do the most damage. Again, you can do damage just shooting him anywhere. That might be a better tactic in squads. Uh, but you don't do as much damage, especially in solos. Ooh, nice little alley-oop right there. Dodge that. You can see there's a little red circle. Say what you want, but I really hope that they continue doing this. I mean, something new, something different where there's an actual boss fight with mechanics and you have to not just mindlessly like shoot you know what i'm saying you have there you have to survive and once you get, once you get to this red health bar once you get this red health bar down that's where he basically rages you have to have full hp or he will eat your lunch and you'll be dead and you'll see right here i thought this was it i was like oh crap like we're done so you might have to be at least 75% health before that uh, before that move right there, or that skill. We're going to go ahead and heal up. And we're, this is when my palms were sweaty, knees weak, arms were a little heavy during this part right here. But we're just going to be laying down shots right in his chest. And you're going to see him go down and wait till you guys see what the prize is. Um, was that it? Was that the last one? No, not yet. He's still, he's still going. And he had that final slap. We end up taking him out. And boom. We go ahead and take him down. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the reward is for taking down the Pharaoh X suit boss. The first boss ever in the game. Check this out. Lo and behold, what do we have? We have the AMR. Uh, if I remember, I'll pin a card up at the top right about now. Make sure you guys check out that video. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And and you guys were in fact right uh in that video um the amr video that i that i dropped you only get five rounds which is tough i really hope they change it will they i doubt it i mean it's already in beta i don't see them increasing it and you can't loot this ammo so that's tough man i mean granted you can't shoot someone in the toe and get a knock but five rounds to me i, I feel that that is a hard hard nerf before it even before it even like officially comes into the game you know what i mean so anyway i'll show you guys uh what it looks like in action uh and of course to exit the platform you just go ahead and hop off basically anywhere and you'll go ahead and descend down into the battlegrounds so it was main again it was mainly ai uh and it was pretty much close up however this was of course this is a bot too but this was the only person i was able to engage with that was kind of long range but the thing absolutely slaps. It really, really does. And that wasn't even that wasn't even a headshot. And we took him out from range. So I want to know what you guys think of the first boss fight to come to the game. Uh, the fact that the Pharaoh is returning, and you know we have a brand new uh, game mode, which is really, really cool. I'll have because there's other mechanics um, that I want to show you guys in a different video. This is mainly just wanting to highlight the boss fight. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did by, by dropping a like. But until the very next one, this has been Riggs.